Good afternoon and welcome to another review of Girlfriend Girlfriend. Yes, we on episode eight right now. And I gotta say, after finishing watching this episode of Girlfriend Girlfriend, I gotta say, Saki, you know, she's about she's not not really my favorite, favorite girl of this. She's about to be second slash third. Here's why. I mean, when it comes to rom coms, I stick with one girl and one girl only. Rent a girlfriend. I'm Team Sumi. And if you guys watch that, if you guys are on Crunchyroll, you see that popularity poll they're doing right now. I voted for Sumi, and Sumi better win. I mean, you can check on my Twitter. I voted for Sumi to win. That's that. And then I'm looking at girlfriend, girlfriend, and I gotta say, I stick with one, like I said, I stick with one girl of the series. No matter what it is. Rosoya Vampire, Mizure, you know, uh, in Sekire is Sukiyumi. So in Girlfriend, Girlfriend, I stick with Nagisa. Nagisa to me is my number one pick. I'm not gonna switch. I'm not gonna switch like, okay, right now she's number one. No, 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 no. I don't go like that. So as I watch Girlfriend, Girlfriend, Nagisa is first. But in this case, oh my God. Saki is about to be second favorite. I almost, there was a time that I put Saki in number one. I'm sorry, there was a time that I put Saki in like number two or in third, you know, back and forth for second or third, mainly because of Rika and, you know, how Rika's going through a lot. And that's how I kind of jumping back between second best girl right now. But in this one, Saki has kind of grown up, grown so much. Being the first girl that was picked it to be Noya's boyfriend. It's still, you recall this developing and a lot of misunderstandings in this episode. And then we, and then in this episode, we got the truth behind, behind this guy. Well, not, I mean, behind uh, Saki at this moment, which kind of tells me, is this two-timing relationship going to be good or bad? Not bad at school days. That's out of the question. No, we're not going that school days route. Hell no. I mean, he was worth dying. But this guy's... <laughs> Noya doesn't... Uh, Noya can't die. That's what I'm saying. So without further ado, let's get right to it and rent... And, oh, about to say... And Girlfriend, Girlfriend, Episode 8 review. So here's the thing. Yeah, I look at these three girls. And I'm not counting Shion. I don't know nothing about her. I don't know nothing about her. But when I'm looking... After watching these episodes... It comes to my attention how each girl wants to be treated. Let's break it down for a bit. Nagisa will ask you to be gentle. That's one. Two, Saki wants to be dominated. And Rika will dominate you. So out of those three, which one do you prefer? Being dominated, dominate the person, or ask you, oh, you want the gentle one, like you want to be gentle. Will ask you to be gentle. Which one do you prefer? Me, I prefer the gentle one. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, it's not like Darkness from Konosuba, you know? She likes to get beaten up, and I'm sure some of y'all will love that. So, Saki, so, <laughs> Rika in the beginning, you know, every, this class, this entire class is just like a soap opera. When there's, when, every time Rika comes in and argument with uh, Saki, it's always the drama. It's like, this is like a soap opera. We're just watching and see where this is going. And then Saki, I mean, Rika, clinch on, <laughs> clinch on, I mean, clinch on Noya, and she's all phase about the boobs. She's like, G cup, G cup. You know, I feel bad for Saki. Still to this day, still to this day, I feel bad for Saki because she cannot compete with boobs. That is the biggest flaw in the series is her competing with the boobs. Nagisa and Saki, I'm sorry, Nagisa and Rika got it, and I think. Out of the three, I think Rika got the bigger ones than Nakisa. But still, still, Saki, I feel bad for Saki because even though, don't get me wrong, she got good, she got a good figure, but she can't compete with the boobs. And that tells you something. The moral of this, boobs will win. Big boobs will win. Opa, remember, that will fucking win. <laughs> okay, I'm off topic. So, all oh, angrily, she just grabbed her freaking <laughs> She got all angry, grabbed her freaking boobs, hurting her. And then he ran off with Noya. And then they went to this changing room. Not really a changing room, but went to a room where they locked the door. And then leave it to Nagisa to have to have a schemer way. You know, despite the kind personality, she always finds a way to help them. So she's all like, post a, post a photo on an anonymous t 
uh, message saying, if you want this photo, I, I'll, I'll send this photo of you if you back away from them, all that stuff. And yo, leave it to Nagisa to help them out in any way. I love it. I love it. Now, it didn't, one of the scenes that got me really, one of the scenes that were really funny was the, the, the classroom where, the classroom scene where he clenched on Saki and then sat on him. <laughs> they sat in the same desk. She on top of him. He's on top of her, grabbing on the desk, chilling, like, I mean, just sitting on the desk, like, they're holding her real tight. Like, I will protect you. I'll clean you on you. Sitting on, they're sitting on a one, they're sitting in this one desk. And every class is just staring at them, and they went back to class. I love how every student and the teacher was so chill, just looking at them, sitting in, like, him tightening them, holding, holding Saki up real tight. I love how they, everybody was so chill on it. And then when he had dropped his eraser, he literally grabbed the chest... <laughs> They turn around and this guy, yo, Noya. Noya needs to keep his mouth shut at times. Especially with the chest scene when he grabbed Saki's chest. He's like, oh, I'm sorry for touching your chest. I, it's just, don't get me wrong. I'm going I'm to say this again. Don't get me wrong. I like Noya. The biggest flaw I have with him. After watching him, after just watching him every single time, I I respect him, but I don't like what he's saying. It's like, if you want to say it, okay, you can say it, but not in the crowd. Keep your words and ideas to yourself. And don't let no one hear what you're saying. So when he grabbed Saki's chest and said, oh, I'm sorry for touching his chest, Saki has the most embarrassing moment of her life. That's by far. Okay. Now, now the hug scene. Okay. We have experienced hentai in Girlfriend, Girlfriend. We call it N. Wait, N-T-R. Cheating. And the word term is cheating. Now, here's the thing. This tells me something about Nagi, I mean, Saki in a various ways. Impossible. So, in, at the home scene, you know, uh, he, Nagisa wants to experience the hug as well. So, Nagi, so, so uh, Saki was like, okay, I'm going to hide behind the door. I'm just going to watch. And they hug. You know, Nagisa and Noya hugged. But the hugs was more than that. I mean, the hugs was just like, it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He hugged Saki throughout the entire period. Like, tight hug. You hugged Nagi so like, what, three or four times? And then that scene when the hug got really serious. You got Saki in the back, behind, creaking, looking at the door, and she got turned on by it. Again, we're looking at NTR, cheating. Yes. And the thing is, here's the thing. They tell you about not Saki in a various way. She watch hentai. She watched hentai. I mean, literally, how often do we, how often does a girl like her experience NTR like this one? Wrong, wrong question, wrong, wrong question. What I meant to say is, Saki knows hentai? Saki knows hentai. So let me, so, which, which brings me up to another question. What type of hentai are you in? Because I'm pretty sure everybody has their own variations of hentai. It's going on for generations, years. And I'm pretty sure everybody has a taste for what kind of hentai they're into. I ain't gonna mention all the categories, but I do know that a lot of people have a taste for specific, specific genres, but most of the NTR. And I, you know, people have a fetish for that kind of thing. I mean, seeing it cheating, I seen cheating, I get it. People have that kind of taste. So. Saki with her taste of ATR. <laughs> it tells me more about her. It tells me more. It's like you knowing Saki really well now. It's just it's getting there. The build up of her like in hentai and what type she's in is really thoughtful. In a, in a way, in a way, it was like, okay, to all you Saki fans out there, and to all girlfriend girlfriend fans out there who reads the manga or are still watching the anime, if you like Saki. Take her out on a date, take her home, 
watch some NTR hentai, and then tell me how to do this. That's how it is for her. Okay, so she froze. She saw. So after knocking stuff, passed out, faint. Well, not really faint. It just fell. No, you got on top of her. Not literally on top, but just like trying to see what's going on. And that moment she opened her eyes, she literally saw like. <gasps> and <laughs> she, oh, let's get. Walked up and then uppercut her. I'm like, really? Really? You, you get so emotional over that, you uppercut her. Now, let's 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 go on to Rika at this moment. Rika, you know, uh, Sundere, Yandere, I, I can't even think about this right now. She is... <sighs> it's something about Rika that makes me want to say she's second to third best. She's fighting... For me, she's by, she's fighting Saki for the second best girl spot. And those two are going at it back and forth. Nagisa's not even in the kind of not even in the in the battle right now. But um Rick uh oh god, I wanna order began with this girl. After everything she has gone through, becoming a YouTuber, you know, camping outside. Forcing her to, I'm sorry, has great survival skills. Forcing her to camp right next to his home. Having a dad who's about to delete her photos, her videos, everything she accomplished. And try, and still trying to cling on Noya. She is pushing it. She's pushing it. And don't get me, and Noya. Okay. I needed a drink after this moment. I needed a drink. Because this, this, this part got me a little bit like, What? Here's what I'm saying. When they got home, when they got home, she, Noya had some thoughts. He's like, wait a minute. Noya's been, Rika's been following me and asking me questions, coming to my room, classroom. Does that mean, does she have feelings for me? So let me get this straight, Noya. Noya, let me get this straight. Rika stalked you on a regular basis Camped outside of your home, having great survival skills nonetheless. You protected her from her dad, and you told you that you keep an eye on her and all that stuff. All those little pieces that happened when Rika debuted, all the events that happened in Rika's, I mean, in a Rika moment, anything that happened, you still don't see it. She has a feelings for you. You just now thought of that. It just slipped in your freaking mind. You just now noticed that she has feelings for you. How oblivious are you? And now Saki and, and Nakisa are trying to make him stay a two-timer and becoming a three-timer. So she, you know, Nakisa, I mean, Saki with her, with those faces, those face, dark face expressions, saying how, oh, she's in heat. Oh, she has libido, all that stuff. <laughs> you know? It's all those misunderstandings that makes it so, girlfriend, girlfriend great. You know? I didn't, like I said, I don't hate this show. I just feel like the the whole mm, plot of all this kind of like not getting there. But at some point, like I said, at some point, it, it's getting there. It is. And then, okay. I love how they did like a twist turn. It's like, oh, they did a like, wait, what? Because in the, in, the, in the beginning of episode eight, we saw Saki running, running with Noya. But at the end, at the end of this episode, we see... Uh, Rico running, running with, running with Noya. So it's like, oh, they did that kind of a turn on that. But for the main character himself, how the hell in the end you're gonna go saying, "I'm sorry, I didn't know you had feelings for me." I'm like, moment of pause. That was a moment of pause. I'm like, wait a minute. You apologize for saying that you think you think you love me. And now they're like, don't say that. I did. I, if I was him, I'd be like, are you dense? You don't say that out loud. Now Rika's all like, you, 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 you think I'm in love with you? So she started the hell out of her. <laughs> then she ran off with them, and that's how it ended. But the thing about the big, again, the main character, what are you doing? Main character, Noya, what are you doing? Keep your words. Keep your mind off Orika. In other words, 
Keep everything to yourself. You don't express your feelings like that because that's going to cause attention. I'm not attention, but drama and a little bit of like, what the hell did I listen to? What the hell was that? So, yeah. 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 But this episode was really fun to watch. It was a really, it was a really delightful episode. We get to see somewhat of a development in Saki in terms of the NTR, which, which you know, she we now know she has a taste for that kind of a hentai thing, and we get to see. Uh, I think what I'm trying to say in this episode, we got the little spotlight for Saki because Saki did some and her improvements of her relation, what she's really into. So now we know what she's into at this moment, and with. You know, Rika being how she's still trying to continually get Noya to like her. Rest assured, it's going to be a three-time. It's going to be three-time. Now, um, now, Shino, on the other hand, the one with the gray hair, she appeared in somewhat of episodes, but I'm waiting to see where she's going to line up. I don't know. Maybe she's going to be in the next week's episode or episode 10. I don't know. But I'm waiting for the other girl to shine. I don't know when that will happen, but let's see how that goes. But like I said, this was a great episode to watch. And I look forward for next week's episode of Girlfriend, Girlfriend. So tune in next week, episode nine for the Girlfriend, Girlfriend, episode nine review. I look forward to it and I hope you will.